see if Gohan can ride this momentum wave after cleanly 2 0 Waldo. A little bit of a close call in second game, but still very, very sick performance. Gohan's Falcon has been leveling up, man. Really breaks my heart not to be the highest placing Falcon at the tournament, but I will hold that because this kid is doing really well today. John Numbers definitely not a player that's out of reach for Gohan to beat either. Very solid player, but you know, not not like Apex winner level yet. And goes into Buster mode. He's gonna get some serious combos off of this, or at least make all of his hits do a lot of damage. But on the contrary, or rather on the flip side, he takes more damage when he's in Buster mode. Yeah. So you can really see that count against him. Yeah, but I think it's a good move against uh, a character like Captain Falcon, who relies on individual hits rather than combos. Uh, you know, to get most of his damage, especially at higher percents. Ooh. I don't know. I feel like Falcon is definitely a combo character, and especially against Shulk. Well, I mean, you know, you get like a throw and then maybe one aerial. It's not like too much to oh! worry about in Buster mode, but yeah. The backslash. That killed him? With no rage, too? 120. Wow. Shulk's side B, a lot stronger than I had thought. Ooh. Switches into speed mode. Not sure of the rationale. I think Buster would have been the pick again, but it might not have been available, being that he just came off using it. Didn't even need the Smash Monado to take the first stock. Oh, goes for the charge up smash just in case Gohan uh, had stood up in place. It would have been a lot of damage. Though maybe not so much in speed run. Oh, down tilts. Oh, looking for the up tilt. Just barely whiffs it. Hoping maybe that Gohan would try to jump in from the yeah. corner. A lot of players like to do that. Oh, the back air, but not quite. Oh, I heard that Falcon kick. That definitely got stuffed. Oh, up smash. Just barely whiffs. Okay, a little bit of uh, chaotic action toward the ledge of the stage there. Ends up with, oh, I guess John Numbers has the stage control. Oh. Air slashes right back to the stage. Oh, ran past him with the dash grab. Gohan loves going for that sliding oh. dash grab. If he had gotten that down air, that could have turned things around big time. It changes wow. over to that Buster Minato again. Very interesting at 70. I would have just played with no Minato. Yeah, maybe that's what he's going for. So Ooh. you do normal damage. You're not going to die super fast or anything. All right. Shield. John Numbers, I don't oh. understand some of his rationale behind <laughs> his Monado choices. But that was a good, I mean, hey, that shield Monado kept yeah, him alive. Yeah, that really kept him alive elbow, for yeah. sure. I mean, wow, he he's he trying to nowhere. go deep with the jump Monado. <gasps> wow, that was so smart. Not sweet spitting the up B, uh, not sweet spotting the up B, so that way the second hit connected. He's got so much range. Look at that recovery, man, in jump mode. Okay, now it's going to be smash. Yup. The back air with so much range and an up tilt almost closing it out. Shulk with both Smash Monado and 126% of rage, but just gonna get KO'd by that back throw. Easy peasy. Respawns, immediately Smash Monado is available to him because he died. Yep. And he's gonna probably look for some sort of kill throw here. Just, well, I don't think with no rage that a kill throw would work at this percent. Oh! Going with a chance, but oh, SDs no. after sliding off with his trademark dash grab at the edge. Damn. That's an unfortunate loss there for Gohan, who's, you know, keeping pace with John Numbers pretty well. Yeah, it definitely was. Toward the end, he started figuring out a little Yay, good job, guys. All right, 200. Yay, 200. Achievements. Keep it 100 twice. Survival. All right, going into this second game, definitely not going to see a character switch from Gohan. Very loyal to his Captain Falcon, even in bad matchups. He has a Luigi, but he said he's a lot less confident in his yeah. tournament ability. All right, it's a town and city now. Immediately going into that speed Minato. Gonna keep him really slippery. Yeah, because, you know, Captain Falcon gonna go for those low percent combos that it throws. Doesn't want to get grabbed. Oh, okay, just trying to hit that, uh, holding A at the edge. Yeah, just, just trying to catch a stand up maybe. Yep. Now, Ooh. go on as the stage control, but gets grabbed out of his second jump. Oh, oh and the second God. one, but no, he's still living. Just Back. Falcon's recovery, although it's still not great, it's a lot better in this game than in every other iteration of Smash. Especially now that he can't get Edgehog. Wow, rolls into the edge repeatedly. That's the Long Island right there. Actually, he's from Queens, but it's on Long Island, technically. He goes to a lot of Long Island, quote-unquote, events. So. Right. Okay, dash grab again, slips off. Oh, a little scared. Oh, and Gohan in dominant fashion taking this first stock. Only 38 damage. I like numbers using that off the respawn platform, the backslash. Yeah, we saw it in an earlier set, yeah. Nice snare out of the grab. Gets an up air as he tries to get back. Speed Monado's gonna get him right back in his face. All right, punishes the people's elbow. Ooh, but the up tilt doesn't catch him off the ground. No OTG for you. 
Okay, a little short on the grab there. Shulk stepping forward with his jab. That's some super Street Fighter level spacing there. And Gohan up an entire stock now. I like that forward smash there, but John Number's not going to bite. And of course, in Buster Mode, going to take more damage, which means a little bit more knockback as well. Ooh. Wow, why numbers? Why? No, why run up up smash? Actually, out of like all the times he's done it, I think he's been he's hit it more than he hasn't. Okay. And again, going to speed Monado, trying to contend with Captain Falcon's mobility, but oh, instead just contending with his elbow and yeah, dying. Two oh, put in some elbow grease for that two stop. Oh yeah. Alright, bring this to game three. John Numbers looking down almost in dismay. <laughs> look at look at Falcon flexing so hard his body is shaking. I mean <laughs> Gohan kind of flexed real hard on that. Yeah, true, so. true, true. Man, this guy, the newcomer, is about Dude. to take money at this tournament. He actually already has worked his way into the money because we're paying top five. Yeah. So this is the first time we've seen this map on stream. So this is Delfino Plaza from Super Mario Sunshine on the GameCube. Shout out to that game. Um, so this is a transitional stage. You'll have this main stage, which will go to different parts of Delfino. And then each part of this like main stage will actually change its platforms. Right. And the first transformation we've got here is, is the Sand, the sand Dune. Yep. Oh, this Ooh. could be bad for John Numbers, but no. It looks like Falcon uh, stunned just as long from entering the water <laughs> as John Numbers was from the spike. But at higher percents, you can just drown people by yeah. jump spike, jump and, spike. And pretty much like no snooze. Oh, oh no. and that's it. Wow, yes. Gohan taking a very clean first stock. This man is on fire today. Yeah. He's about to work his way into top four. Oh, if nice he takes jab. this next stock without losing two in a yeah. row. Now we're going to the towers, those green islands right there, the pillars. You can do some wall jumps here. Water's still in play as well. Also a very low ceiling, which I know Gohan yeah. enjoys. Oh. Very interesting that uh, John Numbers would pick the stage. Captain Falcon has a spike. He can kill yeah. off the top really easily. He has a kill throw for the walk-offs. I wonder what the rationale for stage, picking the stage was. Maybe just comfort his player. Oh, better not get caught below the stage again. Oh. oh. Gets okay, the forward throw. Oh, and oh. right through the stage nice with that command nice grab. Nice raptor dive. Uh, Falcon dive. Falcon. Falcon dive, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Gets in there with the Falcon kick. <gasps> no oh way! God, no. If he countered that, that would have been sick. Yo. That was, but the yeah. Falcon punch landing would have been the sickest of all, of course. Okay, back throw. Could that be nope. it? No, he's going to put right into the wall, but nope, he gets grabbed right out of it. Oh, and then the back oh, throw. Oh, no. This counter pick working out there for John Numbers, but he's already down 90%. This is kind of looking like a wrap, but never count Shulk out. One Buster Mode combo could tie the game up pretty much. It looks like he's sticking to speed. Sacrificing a little bit of damage for a lot of mobility. Oh, has the buster. So he's going to do more damage but less knockback. Looks like Gohan knows all about those from his brother being Troy full buster. This is only... Oh, no! The up tilts on Falcon. So <laughs> destructive against heavy, fast-falling characters like that. Took a quick 50. Numbers just content to sit by the wall there. And Gohan realizing, oh, you know what? I'm not going to go for this again. I'm not going to try to mess with you over here. Okay. Pressing Falcon to the corner. This is getting progressively closer, man. But I don't know. Okay, nice enter shield back. mode. Just doesn't want to eat any sort of road KO moves. Oh, oh my! Oh, oh my God! The counter? No Whoa. way! John Numbers. What with a the most counter! Clutch counter. Oh. That was so smart. Wow! And it killed so early too. Yeah. In shield mode, that counter seems to be really strong. I don't even know if it influences it though. Wow, go ahead. Gohan actually looking a little in disbelief. Yeah, what I happened to him right there. All right, all right. So DCB Dynamic Custom Beadworks, head on over to their Facebook or Twitters and check these guys out because they can hook you up with all sorts of amazing beadwork. Those iron-on beads. Dude. Yo, congrats, Gohan. And and uh, be sure to use the coupon codes. Yeah, yeah, you got you got money. Yeah, you got money, man. It's top five. five yo, this dude thinks he won five bucks, yo. No, nah, he won like he won like <laughs> he won a like lot. sixty or yeah. like seventy. Yeah. Yeah, actually, I think he wins like thirty something dollars or something. I'm just okay. gonna make I it five percent for yeah, the two. So thirty yeah, five. So he gets thirty. He gets thirty seven fifty actually. Oh, thirty seven fifty. Yeah, I'll take terrible. care of him in a second. Be sure to take uh, check out eight arc dot com. A ten dollar and fifteen dollar coupon codes, depending on how big your order is. Spooky one and Spooky two thousand fifteen for those. Be sure to check them out on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. 
8 Arc, Dynamic Custom Beadworks, and of course, Apex. And Apex, yeah, be sure. Another Apex 2015 is the last weekend of January, which is this month. Be sure to register if you haven't already. You definitely have to. It's the biggest event of the year every year for Smash. And it also has fighting games, too. Traditional fighting games, that is. So it's going to be Orion versus Dill for the other side of the Losers' Quarterfinals. This is where I would be if I had beaten Dill. <laughs> if you weren't a screw. If I wasn't terrible. If you weren't bad. Okay, uh, so... Oh, by the way, I was right. It is Raptor Dive, not Falcon Dive. 